I would tell you first and foremost, I agree with everything everyone's saying up here. I think they're dead on. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of deal flow like you cannot believe. Let me kind of give you an idea of what we do. Some people get confused about it. We have a consulting company. It's all we do is troll data. We're going through data like nobody else is going through data. We're looking at report sales. That's how we always seem to be ahead of the curve in terms of bulk deals that are going down. In fact, I'm going to announce a bulk deal that just occurred, 126 a foot, uh, Brickell Avenue area, right behind Mary Brickell Village. Um, Project Michael Popular sold a note, and the developer decided to sign over the deed. That whole project moved 126 a foot, 10.2 million dollars. Loan amount was 17.7. Developer was in it for probably well over 20 million dollars. That's an example of what I like. We're not seeing enough of that, and that's simply because a lot of the lenders have been holding back. But everything Alicia is saying about the deal flow occurring on an individual basis, absolutely 100% correct. And to be honest with you, it's scaring us. It's scaring us that it's moving so quickly. We're getting all these individuals that are coming in here because as they come in here, it makes it more and more difficult for us to do what we do. So we've sort of had to refocus our strategy. But our strategy has become, instead of going after the towers, and there's still some towers that, that are out there that are that will be traded, but the chances are they're gonna be traded to institutional buyers. It'll be a course bank type of situation where the FDIC has to step in and they're gonna move a whole portfolio to somebody, a variety of different companies. That company will come in, they'll buy something in its entirety, they'll terminate the condominium association if the docs have been filed, and if they haven't been filed, then they'll just run it as a rental for the foreseeable future. That's everything that we're hearing, kind of what's happening on that side. So if you look at oh, effectively what, what's kind of out there number one, exactly. and we're only talking about Greater Downtown Miami, and about 9,400 units as of June 30th that were still in the hands of developers. These are, these are not necessarily defaults, but just units that were built and have not yet closed. Um, from what we're seeing, we seen the estimators probably close to about 9,100 today. And if you look at the 9,100 today, where they're uh, associated or where they're clustered, you're gonna find that they tend to be in just a few buildings. So when you start to take those buildings out of the mix, you go from 9,100 units to suddenly probably about 4,000, 4,500. We'll know on September 30th when we run our quarterly report as to closed sales versus what, what the overall inventory is. But so we're really feeling the pressure. So if you take the big towers that have not yet come online, uh, example, Paramount Bay, not yet online, Mint, not yet online, as those things come online, they may or may not make it to market uh, depending on you know the, who you're talking to and what and what they're sort of saying. So if you take that product out of the mix, now suddenly everybody who's on cash buyer, they pride themselves on being a vulture, they've read all the media about how the market's going to hell, and they won't go to Atlanta even though Atlanta's got better value than Miami, they're coming down here to sort of get into the game. And I think that's really what's driving it. So all the bad news that we've gotten and all the criticism and the, and the shots that I've taken, I think it's actually could have been a good thing that we focus the agenda onto, onto Miami. I mean, just getting to the point where we're, we're starting to get concerned, and I, and I said this at an earlier Chamber of Commerce um, uh, event where I sat up with Ron, um, you know, I really feel as if we're going to burn through downtown bulk product um, six months, nine months max. Mm -hmm. I mean, the deal, deal flow that we're seeing, we've been approached by 462 funds. Um, University Endowment Fund, Pension Fund, you name the country, Monaco, uh, Singapore, it, everywhere. Everybody wants to be here. And when they say they want to go elsewhere because the value might be better, what they quickly find is there's no density, there's no urban development boundary line, much, much, much to Ellis's point. So this really seems to be the place. Let, let me give you one number or a couple numbers before we let you go. Um, 12 bulk deals have recorded since July of 08, uh, some of the most recent ones. And this is something interesting. Of the 12 bulk deals that have occurred, two buyers are retrading. They went in in bulk and they're flipping. And what they're flipping at is an average of 41% premium. Now both of those projects are located on the ocean, but watch for that to come online more and more and more. These people are coming in, they're putting a spread on it, and they're dumping it relatively quickly. So the good old days of flipping are coming back, but it's all cash now rather than what it used to be in the past, which was all leverage and the nefarious uh, loans. <laughs> I got some of that. Um, uh, 